Hi friends, so myself Reshma, I welcome you to discuss about the characteristics of relations in a relational data model, which is a very important concept in database management system. In previous session, we have discussed about relational data model and its components and today i would like to discuss and share with you the characteristics of relational relations in relational data model so here we have mainly four characteristics first is the ordering of tuples in a relation so here we need to check whether the order of the tuples is important or not. Next, ordering of values within a tuple. Values and nulls in the tuple. Interpretation of a relation. So now we'll see these characteristics one by one with example. We'll start with ordering of tuples in a relation. As we know, relation resembles a table which contains columns and rows columns means attributes and each row indicate a tuple for example here i have a table or a relation in which we have three attributes actor name industry and movie name and we have two tuples first tuple gives details about the actor Rukh khan who works for Bollywood industry and acted in the movie Chak De India. Second row, second tuple gives the detail about an actor Puneet Rajkumar who works for Sandalwood and acted in the movie Milana. So now here we need to check if I change the order of the tuples. If I change the order of the tuples, how it will affect the relation? whether it will change the meaning of the relation, whether it will affect the value of the tuples. So that we need to check. So now what I will do, I will change the order of the tuples. So what I have done, I made second tuple as first and first tuple as second. Now if I see the table where I have changed the order. So now if I see in the new table, here Puneet Rajkumar still he is working in the sandalwood industry and acted for Milana. So now we are even after changing the row, order of the row, it has not affected the details about the Puneet Rajkumar. Similarly, if I see the second row, which was the first row in the first table. So now here also Shah Rukh Khan worked for Bollywood industry and acted in Jagde India. So it shows in a relation, ordering of tuples is not important. We can change the order, then also it will give the same meaning. We can exchange the order, complete row can be exchanged. It will not affect the interpretation or meaning of the tuples which we have used in the relation. So this is the first property of a relation. Then second property. So one more example I have shown here for the first character. Listic. So the first is here Rama Ram bearing USN 1J13CS009. He is from CSC department. Then second row detail, he gives the details about Sita. She is from EC department having USN 15 EC01. So now again, if I change the order, first row becomes second, second row comes to first. Again, if I see here also, it has not affected the details about Sita and Ram. So still Sita belongs to EC department and Ram belongs to CS department. So again, so this step also shows the ordering of the tuples, if we are changing, still it will give the same meaning. Here one more example where we have a student table with five, five rows. In first table, we have 
बेंजामिन चुंग डिक रोशन एंड बारबा बर्बरा सो नाउ हियर इफ यू सी द फर्स्ट रो बिकम्स द थर्ड रो ओके फर्स्ट रो ऑफ फर्स्ट टेबल बिकम्स लास्ट रो इन द सेकंड टेबल अगेन सेकंड रो कम्स टू फोर्थ रो थर्ड रो गोस टू फर्स्ट रो फोर्थ रो यू नो इन थर्ड रो एंड लास्ट रो इन सेकंड रो सो इफ आई सी ऑल दीज रोस व्हिच आर एक्सचेंज कंप्लीट रोस आर एक्सचेंज अगेन वी कैन सी हियर वेदर वी आर एक्सचेंजिंग जस्ट टू रोस और एनी नंबर ऑफ रोस इन द टेबल एनी नंबर ऑफ टपल्स इन द टेबल रिलेशन इट हैज नॉट अफेक्टेड द मीनिंग ऑफ अ रिलेशन सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट characteristics of a relation the ordering of tuples is not at all important second is ordering of values within a tuple if we in each tuple if we exchange the value of attribute or the column whether it will change the meaning or it will keep the same meaning so let's take this with an example here if i take this example where it gives details about ram and sita for cs and ec department so now what i will do i will exchange the values in the tuple so what i have done in the first tuple i have exchanged value of second column with third column so what i have done here usn in usn column i have kept cse in department column i moved the value of usn column so values are exchange after exchanging i will check the details of ram so now in the original row ram belongs to uh, bs usn 1g 13 cs 009 belongs to csc department now after changing exchanging the values within the tuple what happened here ram bs usn cs and e and it belongs to department 1g 13 cs 009 so now there is no meaning at all here it has changed the meaning the actual meaning of the original tuple has been damaged the meaning has been changed so what it indicate it shows ordering of values within the tuple is very very important if i change the order of the values within the tuple it will change the meaning so we cannot change the values within the tuple directly but if at all i want to change the value within the tuple so we can make use of the alternative definition okay so here another example how it is affecting so here you can see here in original table sharukh khan belongs to bollywood industry acted in sakde and punit rajkumar from sandalwood acted in araso so now uh, what i have done here i have changed the value of tuples so now actor name is bollywood he works for sharukh khan industry movie name is india check the india so now i can see actor name become uh, bollywood here as i have changed the value in the tuple so i can see it has damaged the meaning of the tuples it has removed it has changed the meaning of the tuples so don't change don't exchange the or don't change the order of values within the tuple which will remove the meaning so but if i want to change what i have to do we can give alternative definition of the relation so what we can do is so whenever i want to change the value of the tuple instead of changing only the value i have to change i have to change the order of the value along with the attribute name if i change the order of the value along with attribute name it will give us the new definition for example here what i have done i have moved bollywood to first column and sandal would also to first column from the second column of the first table but while moving what i have done i have moved the heading also attribute also so complete second column attribute name and the values i have moved from second column to the first column then the first column values sharukh khan and punit rajkumar i have moved these names along with the heading actor name to the second column so now if i see the meaning in the first table and second table in first table sharukh khan works for the actor name sharukh khan works for the industry bollywood and he has acted in the movie check the in the second table industry ball in bollywood industry actor sharukh khan okay 
it will be work for check the india so now here what we are doing along with the values we are exchanging attribute names also in such cases the meaning of the tuples remains same it will not affect the meaning but again see while exchanging we can't move the or change the order of value from one tuple to the another tuple see here i cannot move bollywood of first row to the second row then it will then this is not allowed in the relation but while moving the value from one column to the another column we have to move the values along with the heading so in this example so what we have done complete department c s e and e and c which is in the third column that i can move directly to the second column along with the val values and also the attribute names are moved then usn attribute and the two values 1j 13 cs 009 1j 15 ec 010 from second column it has been moved it has been it has moved to third column in such cases it will not affect the meaning of the tuples so what we have learned here we cannot move only the values from one column to the another column if you want to move the columns from value of a column from one value from one column to the another column along with the values we need to move we need to change the order of column heading also so this is the second characteristic of a relation then third characteristic is values and nulls in the tuple values and nulls in the tuple so now when can we enter the null for a tuple so so this is one example so here i have a student details name of the student usn of the student salary and semester in usn name and semester we have entered the values but in salary column instead of value we have entered null what is the meaning of null here what this null indicates so this null indicates the salary column it is not matching for a student or we can say this is not applicable to student if any attribute is not applicable to that particular relation then we cannot enter any value so we can enter null value to any attribute if that attribute is not applicable now in second condition again we have entered values for name usn and department but for the second tuple for sita i have not entered any value for phone number so why so why here phone number is null for sita whether this is not applicable to the sita no the it this column it is applicable to sita but sita may not be having phone number so means or she may be having a phone number and it may it is missing she might have forgot her phone number so that is here we can leave null for an attribute if it is not defined or if it is missing so then also we can enter null value so now if i see this example here i have two relation r and s where i have done some quotation product so where i have to multiply first table with the second table so now for the matching value we have written the answer so this is 1 2 for two matching i have written five then 1 2 6 you can write 3 4 so there is no four in b column in the second table so now this becomes null similarly null 7 and 8 so this is one of the joining operation full join which we have done so but just i want to show here whenever it is not possible to get some answer for the given query then we can write the null value so here the purpose of showing this example is 
when to enter null. So mainly in three cases we have entered null. In the first condition, that attribute is not applicable, then we can leave it as null. Second case, it is available, applicable, but currently it is missing. Then we can write null. And some cases, if it is not defined, if it is not defined, then we can enter null. So for example, you want to enter employee details. There I want to enter to which semester that employee belongs to. Whether he belongs to any semester? No, he is already working. Then it is not applicable. Then we can do null. Then another example, like assume that you are staying in an individual independent home. But it is asked you to enter apartment number. Can you enter apartment number while you are staying in independent home? No, then it is not applicable. Similarly, you want to display your result. Assume that your exams are not at over, but you want to fill the result column. Can you enter the result column? No. So because this is not at defined. And being a student, if you want to enter your office phone, num phone number, then you want to enter your college phone number. If you remember your college phone number, you can write. But if you cannot remember, you can leave it null. It means the value is available. Currently, it is missing. So like that, there are different conditions where we can leave the value of any attribute as empty. So that is the null value. So this is the difference between value and nulls in the tuple. It means in a tuple, we can enter some value or we can leave that attribute as null based on that condition. Then fourth characteristic of a relation is interpretation of a relation or giving meaning for a relation. As we know, relational database is a collection of relations which forms a relation between it gives a, a relationship or association between one relation to another relation or within a relation there should be a relationship between one attribute to another attribute or from one value to another value of that particular tuple. So means whenever we have defined a relation and added some values to that relation it should give some proper meaning then how to interpret that relation so relation is having some self-describing nature whenever we'll create a relation with attributes and tuples the values itself describe the relation so for example here i have a relation which can be represented like this where here i have a student relation just by seeing these values we can give the meaning so means there is a student with the name rama who is having usn who bs usn 1ga 10 cs 001 belongs to fifth semester of cse department see here just by seeing this first row we have interpreted we have given meaning for that first tuple Similarly, by seeing the second table, can we give the meaning? Can we interpret this? Yes. There is a student with name Sita from CSC, third semester, and her USA number is 1GA11CS002. Means a relation is such that it is very easy to interpret by giving a proper meaning. And then for the interpretation, we can make use of the relation schema. So the relation schema, it can be interpreted as a declaration or a type of assertion. So means whatever we have declared, written here, it should be a fact. It should be a true. It should be true for a particular instant of that relation. So means in this table, the first tuple asserts the fact that there is a student whose name is Ram, belongs to fifth semester CSC 1G810 CS001. So this is the fact about a particular student with the name Rama. 
Second row, it will give the fact about the student Sita. So we can say relation schema can be interpreted as this is a declaration or this is a type of assertion. So these are the four main characteristics of a relation. And the last characteristic interpretation, it can be also interpreted as a predicate. So means every tuple, the values in each tuple it should be interpreted as values it should, and that should satisfy the predicate. Means the same example, if I take student table, Rama belongs to some department with some USN and belongs to a particular semester. So whatever the details we have written, the, the predicate about that particular student, it should be true for all the tuples in the relation. So if I have written details about Sita, again, it should be true. Sita should have some name, belongs to department for semester and should be at some USN. Again, if I write some other name, again, that particular student should be true, value should be true for all the tuples. So like this, we can define the properties of a relation. So then I'll just revise different notations which we can use for relational model. Whenever we are defining the relational model, the schema will be represented as R of A1, A2, A3, etc. up to AN, where R indicates name of the relation and A1 to AN are list of attributes. And always give the relation names using uppercase letters and relation state will be given using lowercase letters and whenever we'll be making use of an attribute to specify which attribute belongs to which particular relation then we can take the help of dot operator to show an attribute a belongs to relation r it should be written as r dot a for example name belongs to student relation then i should write student dot name so the purpose of using this dot operator is if i have two tables one table is giving the details about student second tables give details about an employee in both tables we may have an attribute called name then if i want to display the name of a student if i just write displaying name then there will be an ambiguity there will be a confusion which name to be displayed, whether name of the student or name of an employee. Then to come out of this confusion, to remove this ambiguity, we need to write table name dot attribute name, relation name dot attribute name, like student dot name. It gives name of a student. If I write employee dot name, it will give name of an employee. So this is about the characteristics of relation in a relational data model so thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts in the characteristics of a relational relation in a relational data model please post your comments suggestions and questions in the comment box and in next session i will discuss about different operations which we can perform on relational data model to get the next session next videos if you are already subscribed okay otherwise please click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell button to get the notification on my next session so thank you have a great day